Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and the infamous death cross signal is a technical phrase referring to when a short term 50 day moving average crosses below a longer term 200 day moving average. It's significant because these are two very popular moving averages representing short and long term price trends. So when a short term trend slumps below a long term trend, it basically confirms the downtrend the market has already been in. And therein lies the key to this pattern. Where is price itself in relation to the crossover when it occurs? Before I answer that, beat this crazy market with us by clicking the first link in the description. Okay, if the price is already extended to the downside after multiple distribution days when the death cross happens, there's a good chance it will be followed by a snapback in price towards that crossover in the coming days or weeks. Look on the chart here and see where we are now. If we were to snap back to the crossover line, we would pop higher to right here. That's a 5% move to the upside from where we are right now. This snapback rally seems to have a much higher probability of occurring, especially if quote talking heads start to tout the death cross as a bear market signal. It's the classic case of being too late to the party and feeding into the already negative sentiment. The last time the death cross occurred was March 31st, 2020, about six days after the COVID low on March the 23rd. When it triggered, buyers stepped into the extended downside and never looked back at these lows because that rally extended all the way until September of 2020 before a real pullback. And then that rally continued all the way until September of 2021, a full year later. And then we get to where we are today. Before the pandemic, we had a death cross in early December of 2018. When this happened, the S&P 500 was only down about 3% away from the crossover point, not exactly extended in price. But shortly thereafter, the market took an aggressive dive lower for an 11% drop over the next week. From there, buyers stepped back in for a V-shaped bottom reversal and again, never looked back at those lows. There were similar death crosses during September 2015 and January of 2016, where the death cross happened after the market had already plunged by more than 11% prior to the bearish crossover. The result of the late to the party bearish rhetoric led to a rally in prices, although it was a fairly sloppy one as it took a few weeks for the price action to reach the crossover point as volatility ran high. Yet the lows associated with the death cross held for buyers to defend. 2010 and 2011 also had death cross examples that played out very similar to the ones described in 2015 and 2016 as price had already corrected more than 15%. Now, early 2008 was the only death cross that resulted in a prolonged bear market that lasted until lows were finally hit in March of 2009. It's important to note though, there was a huge difference to this death cross than the others mentioned already. This death cross occurred while price was actually slightly above it. Now, bearish sentiment itself has been running really high this month. Research shows that bearish sentiment has reached decade high bear zones right now. So have we reached a bottom and is it time to buy this dip? Well, recent history tells us that the probability is leaning towards yes, but I would add one side note. We're in a time of war and that wild card can be totally unpredictable. So take this information and add it to your own market research and let me know if you buy the dip when a death cross appears while price is also low. A death cross in low price seems to be the two biggest leading indicators of a market rebound. Smash the like button, share this video and beat the market with us by clicking the first link in the description. And if it's your first time watching, click subscribe. For Ticker Time News, I'm Adam. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.